Hi guys, Heather Marco here. I wanted to hop in here today and talk a little bit about um, breastfeeding and following a low carb um, or a keto diet and if that's something that's possible for you to do as well. So I am a mommy times four. Um, I breastfed all of my babies. Um, my youngest is currently 11 months old. So. Um, I would say as mommies, I think our number one priority, especially if you are nursing, is to make sure that you're producing enough milk and that their little tummies are getting full and they're growing. So always been my number one priority as well so more importantly than you know losing the baby weight or getting back into shape it's just making sure that those little ones are taken care of um, I think with that being said that it's important to take care of yourself as well um, just to make sure that you're feeling good and you're um, kind of keeping your energy up and that sort of so um, I started following a low carb diet when my little girl was about nine months old, probably my third baby. Um, and I would say if you notice a dip in your supply at all, it just means that you're gonna need to add in um, more carbs in order to make sure that you're producing enough. So, and everybody is totally different as far as how much milk you produce and, and kind of what affects you. So you just kind of have to go by your um, best judgment. didn't uh, tap into the keto lifestyle until um, after my fourth baby and he was about nine months old as well. They recommend that you don't go below 50 net carbs um, if you are breastfeeding and following the ketogenic lifestyle. So, and like I said, you might be different, you might need more than that. is kind of run it by your pediatrician and kind of see what they think and what they recommend is in your best interest and your baby's best interest too. So um, another thing that I did after uh, after my fourth baby and kind of starting that keto lifestyle is I started adding in exogenous ketones. Um, and so that made it possible for me to not have to follow the keto diet um, as strictly, but still to get the benefits of being in ketosis. And these are perfectly safe when you're nursing um, or pregnant as well. So babies are actually in ketosis when you're pregnant and after they're born, born as long as you're breastfeeding. So um, exogenous ketones have been definitely beneficial in giving me more energy, um, feeling like I can make it through the day, um, having four little ones. So. you can look into. Uh, I will link um, a 10 day video if you guys are interested in trying the exogenous ketones as well. So I know I have friends that have taken the exogenous ketones while they're pregnant in order to kind of, you know, break through that sickness healing and having the energy to make it through their day too. So tons of benefits um, with these. You can get them in caffeine free too if you're worried about having the caffeine um, while nursing, but honestly, it's equal to about 16 ounces of coffee or so. so. One other thing I know for me personally with breastfeeding is I swear the cravings are 10 times worse when you're breastfeeding versus uh, when you are pregnant. So, and I crave sweets like no other, chocolate, um, anything baked. And so um, the ketones have been a lifesaver in helping kind of curb those cravings as well. So I am definitely not a professional uh, in any manner on this topic besides that I've experienced four pregnancies. I gained about 30 pounds with each of them um, and lost that again after they had them. So just by personal experience, we always recommend running it past your doctor and just kind of deciding what's best for you based on kind of what your goals are um, and your lifestyle. So thank you for popping in. Make sure you hit subscribe. Um, I'll continue sharing just kind of different tips and tricks tips and tricks on um, 
fitness and the weight loss journey and the keto lifestyle. So thank you.